Hello, welcome back to AirTech Hunting. Today we've got a very special budget-friendly gun on the channel, the Air Venturi Avenger. We're going to take it through its paces and see how it hunts. Right, we're going to shoot the Javelin 23 grain slug today and this gun can shoot it at 850 feet per second. How awesome is that? You never see this in a budget PCP rifle, but this one has got an externally adjustable regulator. Just open that plastic cap and there you go. You can also release the air from the tank over there because you don't want to adjust the regulator down with pressure in the tank. You can uh, adjust it up. And then it's also got an externally adjustable hammer spring. So you can easily set it up for pellets or slugs in a matter of minutes. It also comes standard with a Picatinny slash dovetail rail. Yes, you heard right. You can put either one on there. So on top is dovetail and below is Picatinny. And it's made out of, out of a very strong polymer plastic. Very durable, very hard. It's not going to fail on you at any time soon. It's, it's really built to last. Now, eventually made sure they cut cost where it matters and that's why they put a polymer plastic stock on here as well also very durable and hard plastic so i think it will last quite a long time it does feel a bit hollow but it also makes a gun super light what is nice is there's a picatinny rail molded right into the stock with some sling stud uh, holes in there as well so you can mount any bipod or any sling there's even one at the back there as well um, they basically thought of everything. Obviously this gun doesn't come fitted with a silencer. It does have a nice shroud and there is quite a bit of space in the shroud. The barrel ends round about there. Um, I did uh, design my own little adapter so that I can fit any half UNF silencer on here. So I'll, I'll put a little link down below where you can download that. Um, only tip is use a bigger caliber silencer than what the caliber gun is because the barrel I think isn't completely centered in here. Donnie FL do make a complete silencer kit that helps straighten your barrel on the inside as well. So have a look at that as well. Uh, but yeah, this one works pretty well with a 30 cal silencer. There's no clipping or anything like that. So you can do that as well. I'll share this down in the link for you. And yeah, you just screw it in there and put your silence on. Right, let's go take it out for a hunt. It is very windy today, but luckily we've got slug, so shouldn't be a problem. And yeah, it's getting it up to decent speeds. 850 feet per second, there's no slouch. Down goes the first pigeon with the eventuary, yeah, that was a nice shot. Oh, did you hear that thud? That's a 23 grain javelin on a 74 meter straight down. This gun is very accurate. Straight on, same hold as the previous one. Um, you can see there's quite a bit of wind, so I've got to hold quite a bit to the left, but yeah, straight down. Yes. 75 meters, it shoots exactly where you hold it. Yeah, unbelievable. <laughs> down he goes, a sparrow. So this gun is pretty quiet even without the silencer. Um, I wouldn't say it's backyard friendly without it, but uh, with the silencer, as you guys can hear on the shots here, it is extremely quiet. It almost sounds broken, but yeah, it's doing the job pretty well today. Oop, down she goes. I didn't dial for that one, I just held a little below it. Yeah, straight out. The trigger 
isn't what I would call match grade, but it is uh, pretty decent. It's a good hunting trigger. It's a bit mushy. It is adjustable as well. I haven't spent any time on it. It's just as it is out of the box. But for what I do here, it's I'm happy with it. It's pretty good. <laughs> Down it goes, 61 meters. The gun comes standard with two 10 shot magazines, which is perfect because at this power level, I get exactly 25 shots, which means it's just over uh, two and a half magazines. So after two magazines, I come back and fill it up. But that is if I fill it to 250 bar. This is, however, a 300 bar gun. So you can fill it to 300 bar if you want. I don't have that facility with me today, but yeah, if it's possible Then you'll probably get four magazines out of it or maybe even more. <laughs> this is javelins are hitting them extremely hard, even at 850 feet per second. It's still so much power. <laughs> right off the sand pile there on 51 meters. Uh, sparrows for this gun, no match. It's so accurate, even though small targets go down at 50 plus meters. Unbelievable. So I know you guys like the hunting, but it's also important to show what this gun can do on 100 on paper. Now just keep in mind, it is very windy and gusty. I try to find a little calm spot with the wind, um, more or less from my back. It's probably about from my five o'clock around there. So it's gonna have an influence on it, but it is what it is. But let's see what uh, she can do with it. Let's do this, scope cam is running. I've got 10 shots in the magazine. Target at 100, there's also a camera down there so you can see, no retakes. Whatever the wind does, it's gonna do. Um, but yeah, let's see. That's it. Yeah, so when you watch reviews, always make sure the people show you scope cam footage. That way you know what they're doing, what they do is for real. So yeah, let's go down there and have a look, but it looks really good. <laughs> 100 meters, 110 yards, it's a long way. Um, and for a budget PCP, to shoot this good means the technology has advanced massively over the last few years. Um, it's exciting times. That's a bummer. The camera down here froze. <laughs> it didn't record that. But nonetheless, at least it was on scope cam. You'll be able to see it there. But yeah, just look at this. We will go back and measure it, but that's my fingernail. That's a hundred meter, guys. In windy conditions, 23 grain javelins out of a budget PCP air rifle. Insane. So there you go, guys. That's the hundred meter group. That is probably, let's see, middle to middle, 1.3 inches. That's it guys, now you've seen the Avenger perform in the field, taking shots down at distance. The 100 meter groups look exceptional. It loves the Javelin 23 grain 218 slug, so definitely uh, check those out if you've got an Avenger already. 
and then this gun is now available in South Africa through Patriot Outdoors uh, for under 10k so it's a great rifle to get you into the sport without breaking the bank and yeah who knows where you're going to go from there so I hope you enjoyed this video and see you next time cheers <laughs>